there's a massive problem with drama and commentary channels. We're talking about iNabber. We're talking about Angelica Oles. And we can't forget the viewer's voice. We can't forget people like T-Spill either. You are What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. You know what's really funny? Kind of funny, kind of not. I was actually worried about using T-Spill's music for my intro because I thought it would be funny but I'm like what if she copyright claimed this and I'm like wait a second she couldn't copyright claim this after all the stuff went down with Manny so I used it so tea spill I love you girl anyways anyways um if you're not over on Instagram yet over follow me at the rewired soul I already uh, announced the winners this morning so make sure you go check it out email me if you're a winner so you can get your copy of lost connections and I have another giveaway happening on Instagram in two weeks so make sure you're following me at the rewired soul so couple disclaimers real quick Quick. This is not a problem with those channels. This is a problem with us, the viewers, the people, all right? I love watching commentary channels. I love watching drama channels. They give me ideas for um, different videos and all of that. So no tea, no shade, all right? But my fellow YouTubers out there, you know how the algorithm works. I had to throw your names up in there to get it all search friendly and whatnot. So this video, we're gonna be talking a, a lot about psychology and just like sociology and human nature because it's some stuff that I was thinking about. So why was I thinking about this? All right, so I, I see that a ton of commentary channels or a ton of you know drama channels, they, they all cover the same story. Like so many of them cover the same story and I'm sitting there, I'm like, do people watch all of these? Like, do I watch all of these? Like, what's my behavior? I often, check in with my human behavior. Like, what am I doing? Like, do I wanna see what I never said about this and Angelica Ohl said about this and then someone like I'm Alex says about this and do I see what T-Spill says about this? Do I see what the viewer's voice says about Like, do I see what all of these people say about this, right? But there's, there's a specific incident that comes to mind and I'm not gonna say what it is. Um, I'm going to talk about it in another video, go more in depth, but there's a specific scenario in which a ton of drama and commentary channels covered a topic and all of them got it wrong. But here's the thing that I noticed is that so many people talked about it that everybody was just agreeing with it. And I'm like, that's fascinating. Like that's really, really fascinating. Like where are we at where we just believe something because we hear about it more and more and more. And the more we hear about it, why do we believe it's true? So I started doing some research. I got on the phone with my mom. I started going on YouTube. Today I was listening to podcasts to do some research to try to figure out and understand the psychology behind this thing. So the first person we're gonna start off with is this dude right here. His name is Gustav Le Bon, all right? He is what they called a polymath. So he had a bunch of different interests, one of those things being psychology. Now, what Gustav is famous for is his book called The Crowd, okay? Now, this book is something that a lot of people reference and it, it was fascinating when I saw it. So he wants to know about like crowd psychology, all right? And he breaks it down into three different states, three different states or three different, you know, parts of this. So. And there's a ton of more videos I could do on this, all right? So one of them is contagion, okay? So what's contagion? It's an idea, it's kind of like what I was talking about. It's an idea where when it's said by a group of people over and over and over again, it starts to spread, right? So you just start to believe it, okay? We see this in all different parts of society, but I want you to think in the context of YouTube commentary, drama channels, think about Twitter, think about Facebook, think about what everybody's sharing, what everybody's talking about, what people are making videos about, contagion, okay? It starts to spread and get into our minds, all right? Then, the next part is suggestibility, okay? So, suggestibility is, once we start to get entrenched in the contagion, what they, what they kind of talk about, well, when I say they, I mean Gustav, what they talk about is, this is almost like a form of, of hypnosis, okay? So what's that mean? We start to lose our sense of self. We start to forget who we are and what we would do. So a lot of the podcasts and things I was researching earlier, they look at this as mob mentality. They try to look at it with, you know, different situations and how to, 
you know, diffuse different situations, right? Um, because how are you gonna make this safe? Like if there's a riot or whatever. But I notice it a lot just, you know, being on social media is this mentality. And people become very suggestible when something keeps saying, being said over and over and over and over again, right? You just start to believe it just because everybody's saying it. Here's the example. I don't know why this is an example I just keep thinking of, but I know, I know you love my sick analogies, but basically, like, imagine, imagine you're in high school, right? Imagine you're in high school. Now, imagine that a bunch of people, you're with a group of people, a group of friends or whatever, and they're pointing out a kid over there. They're like, that, coo that kid over there is really stinky. All right, they just tell you this. All these people are telling you this, right? Your, your chances are based on the work that Gustav uh, did is that you would just believe them. You would believe that that kid over there is stinky. But if you were by yourself, if you were an individual and you looked at that kid and you're like, that kid's probably stinky, you would probably laugh at yourself and be like, why would I even think that, right? So the third part of this is something called, is anonymity. We start to get more anonymity when we're in a group. We do things that we wouldn't normally do, right? So something that we wouldn't normally do is just blindly believe something without evidence to back it up. So part of our human nature is to just believe these things just because a bunch of other things are, uh, other people are saying it. Like something else I was thinking about is like, if you think about the psychology of this and what we're talking about, remember how like your parents would say like, oh, if everybody was jumping off a bridge, would you do it too? You might, you might because of the contagion, because of the suggestibility, you know, but this is one of the reasons, and I might make another video about this, this is one of the reasons people are such jerks online is because of that anonymity. Like, a lot of people wouldn't do that if it was just them by themselves, like, had they not seen that mob mentality going after, like, a figure out there, right? So, I've been, I've been kind of asking you guys questions, this is another reason you need to follow me on social media, is I've been asking you guys questions on Twitter, and on my community page, and on Instagram, and stuff like that, and I do this because I'm getting ideas for videos. So one of the questions I asked all of you is like, what are some stories that a bunch of commentary channels or drama channels covered? Now, another disclaimer, mid-video disclaimer real quick. We're just talking about the psychology behind these things. I'm not saying any of these scenarios, who was right, who was wrong, my opinions, I'm trying to keep them out of this. But I just wanna list some stories for you and give you examples of what multiple, multiple commentary channels covered, right? Most recently, the Manny MUA situation. Also, the um, Gabby Hanna situation, okay? The Jake Paul and Rice Gum situation. Uh, remember all uh, the drama get in last year with, you know, Laura Lee, Manny MUA, uh, Jeffree Star, Gabriel Zamora, Nikita Dragon, right? It's something that all of these people start talking about, all right? So I just want you to think about that for a second. Think about what we were talking about with Gustav, uh, his work, and, and all these people covering these things. So do we get to a point where we're no longer thinking for ourselves and we're blindly believing everything that we hear just because a bunch of people are saying it, right? Now, we're gonna talk about something called evolutionary psychology, right? I love me some evolutionary psychology because it explains why, why we have this today in 2019 and what our ancestors needed it for. So I was just listening to this podcast and it made perfect sense. It made perfect sense why we needed to blindly follow the crowd. So imagine you were in a tribe way back in the day, right? You're in a tribe and everybody just starts running, right? Everybody just starts running, okay? So you would need that group mentality to run because chances are danger's coming. Whether another tribe's gonna come attack you, whether there's like a stampede or whatever, like you just see people running and you just book it too. Ask questions later, right? But people who who were individual thinkers, they might have sat behind, started analyzing this thing and said, I wonder why everybody's running. I wonder what the danger is. On a scale of one to 10, how, you know, and then they get stampeded over. You see what I'm saying? So based on natural selection, a lot of the people who were individual thinkers and didn't follow that, that crowd mindset, they were getting picked off because they weren't staying safe by just believing the crowd and moving with them, right? So 
because of the way evolution works and how slow it goes and how long it takes, right? We're still in that mindset where we blindly follow groups even though we're not really escaping danger. Because one of the reasons we judge people and, and look at this stuff online and start judging other ones because it's something that kept us safe. Does that make sense? Now, the last piece of psychology I wanna talk about is something I've talked about a lot on my channel, confirmation bias, all right? So let's let's combine all these things that we're talking about, okay? We're, let's talk about contagion, okay, this idea spreading. Let's talk about suggestibility, just starting to believe things and not even listening to our own logic or anything like that. Let's talk about, you know, why we follow the crowd based on our safety. Well, now let's talk about confirmation bias. So let's say you had a little assumption just a little bit of an assumption that that person was a jerk, that influencer was a jerk, right? Well, now you see all these drama channels and commentary channels covering it. Now, your confirmation bias, it's not that little inkling anymore. It turns into this validation. Aha, I knew it, right? Like, think about that for a second. So to play into your confirmation bias, you might neglect all of the facts you might neglect doing any of your own research just because people said that. Now, I know we're talking about just like silly stuff like, you know, drama channels and confirm, uh, not confirmation bias, but uh, uh, commentary channels. I know that's what we're talking about right now, but think about how dangerous that is. Like, think about it. To just blindly follow what, what the mass opinion is or what the mass, you know, news is or whatever that is, right? And I'm not trying to get all, you know, tinfoil hatty on you or anything, but I just want you to think about how dangerous that could possibly be where you you become anonymous and you're no longer thinking for yourself and, and now you're just like, okay, well, everybody else is saying it, so it must be true. Like, think about how dangerous that is for a second. But what's the solution? It's here at The Rewired Soul. We talk about that solution, baby. The solution, you guessed it, mindfulness. Mindfulness, mindfulness, mindfulness. Remember, mindfulness strengthens the prefrontal cortex, the logical part of the brain, the part of the brain that gives us impulse control, the part of the brain that regulates our emotions, the part of the brain that allows us to pause and say, okay, a bunch of people are saying this, but is it possible that they're only saying this because this person is saying this? Is it possible that this person's opinion is formed because they saw three other commentary channels before them form this opinion, and now they're just agreeing with them, and now am I agreeing with them because they're agreeing with everybody else? Do you see what I mean? So the solution is to be more mindful and sit back and just pause and say, okay, what do I believe? Why do I believe it? Because if your only, only evidence is that a bunch of people are saying it? That's probably the weakest evidence. Based on that evidence, you can go to a flat earther convention. That doesn't mean that they're right, even though a bunch of people are saying the earth is flat. I guess, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm not ashamed to say my name is Logan Paul and I, I think I'm coming out of the flat earth closet. <laughs> Now, again, I am not saying that anybody like uh, Nick at the Viewer's Voice or T-Spill or iNabber or Angelica Oles or any other commentators out there are wrong or anything like that. I just want to help you improve your mental health. So I want you to sit back and look at this and see, is this something that's maybe happening at your school? Is this something that maybe is maybe happening at your work? Like, is a, are a bunch of people at your work, do they dislike somebody and you automatically dislike that person just because everybody else does? Or have you done your own research and made that opinion? Like, think about how often you judge other people based on someone's opinion. Like, go out and do your own research, baby. Don't always judge a book by its cover or what everybody else is saying, all right? But anyways, I am excited. I was really excited to do this video. Um, I really want to start bringing in some more psycho psychology and just like kind of sociology and just philosophy and all sorts of stuff to just kind of get your wheels turning and help you think and, and question, why do I think the way I do? Why do I do these things, right? Because human nature is absolutely fascinating and the more we can understand it, the more we'll improve our mental health, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to get access to exclusive content, group calls, Calls, individual calls, all sorts of stuff. Click or tap on that Patreon icon right there, all right? Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.